It's a cold Monday morning, March 29th, when human remains are discovered south of Silver Creek in Hope. And my heart just dropped and we were just on edge all week waiting for information. But another 32 days pass before Trina Hunt's family is told the remains found in Hope are Trina's. It was just anger like I've never felt before. There was like, there was no love left in my heart that day. It's been almost four months since 48-year-old Trina vanished. Friday, January 15th, Trina is texting with a good friend from Ontario. They talk about setting up a virtual cocktail over the weekend. Saturday, Trina gets a text from a former coworker. No response. Sunday, the former colleague finally gets a reply just before 5 p.m. I'm trying a digital detox. Haven't touched the phone all weekend, reads the text. Fast forward to Monday when Trina's husband, Ian, reports her missing. According to police, he's the last person to see her at their Port Moody home early that morning before leaving for work. When Ian returns... The front door was unlocked, the, the alarm was unset. And then, yeah, her keys, wallet, cell phone, car was all, was all there, but not her. A massive search is launched. Trina's cousins say it makes no sense she'd walk away from her life. Trina was recently retired. No financial, marital or mental health issues that anyone is aware of. The digital detox text message sent from Trina's phone back in January. Odd, says her cousin. I think it's uh, possible that it wasn't her. During a family meeting, Stephanie Ibbett says Trina's husband explains. The digital detox came up and it was just said that she had needed a break from COVID and Trump on the news and they decided to take the weekend away from their cell phones. For, the, for that to be the, you know, the precursor to her going missing, it just seems strange. There's no question. <laughs> Ibbett says Ian told the family he and Trina went to Hope two days before she was reported missing. They would go on long drives with purpose, such as going to the dairy farm, um, but they went to Hope to revisit a campground that they had visited in their 20s. The part that makes no sense for me is the, is the drive to Hope on the Saturday without cell phones, and then she is found in Hope. We heard that he took a lie detector. Is this true? Do you have any information on that? He, he told us that he took one and he passed. We reached out to Ian, no response. Police initially said there was no evidence of foul play. Now it's a homicide investigation. No charges have been laid. I hit stating Monday, there's no update in the case. I know no. these things take time um, and I know they can't share with us every single thing that they got because obviously that would, wouldn't be right. So I, I just, I, I have to have faith and trust that, that that they're doing what they need to do. Trina's cousins grateful to every single person for their help and support, but they're asking the public to dig deep again, this time for any information about anything suspicious in the Hope area the weekend of January 16th. Finally, one last plea. The person that did this needs to come forward and they need to put an end to this because they're not going to escape it. It's, it's time to put an end to the suffering, the indignity done to Trina. It's time to come forward and to do the right thing. Romina Dea, Global News.